Kenyans from all walks of life troop to parliament buildings in Nairobi to pay their last respects to the late retired President Mwai Kibaki. Those residing away from the capital city were catered for as well. Condolence books have been opened in county offices for the locals to pen down their condolence messages. At the Uhuru Nakazi building in Mombasa, it was a rare show of solidarity as the residents in their numbers started thronging the Coast Regional Headquarters office to sign the condolence book in honor of the late retired president, Mwai Kibaki, who died last Friday. Most residents described the country's third president as a charismatic, diligent, and progressive leader. Led by Imtiaz Sayani, who is a Mombasa business leader and philanthropist, the Abagusi community chairman Dixod Kibagendi, and the coastal Gema community chairman Crispus Waidaka, they all concurred that Kibaki left a legacy with long-lasting benefits such as a new constitution, a revived economy, democracy, and free primary education. Tunamshukuru na vile vile alikuwa rafiki yake mkubwa kwa hiyo miaka yote na ametumana kutoa pole personally mimi nije nitoe pole kwa familia yake na watu wake wote tunakumbuka kama wakisi wakati wake mbole ilienda mpaka ikafika siringi elfu saba yeye mwenyewe aliamuliza waziri wa agrika jamba that time ambaye alikuwa ni mheshimiwa deputy president wakarudiza mpaka elfu mbili pale kisi na sisi tukafurahia na tukafanya uh, tukawa tunalima na tunapanda vila wasiwasi mkoa huu wa pwani sehemu hii ya Mombasa jimbo la Mombasa county tunaomboleza na wakenya wengine wote na jamii zingine zote kiomboleza kiongozi wetu na tuna hakika kwamba hata mazishi tutaweza uh, kufika ndio tuonyeshe wakenya wengine wote tuko pamoja katika kona zote za, za nchi such condolence books have been opened in county headquarters for people to mourn the late kibaki edwin austin for lunchtime news